Hello friends, welcome to another video. Last month, I was kindly invited on a ride by my new friend Ben, and it was a overnighter with about 15 guys. It was a bit of a group ride from Morissette over to Wallenbyre. Now, because the amount of people there and I didn't know anyone, I decided not to make a video, but I did take my action camera and filmed a heap with the plan to make an Instagram reel. Well, the ride was actually pretty awesome and I've got enough footage to throw something together here. So I'm gonna do that. Not gonna be super long, but here is some information on it all. I think you'll enjoy it. The ride started at Morissette train station and we rode a cool section, a single trail out onto some road up over the Wadigans and then down onto some beautiful gravel roads into Laguna and then down into a hip camp at Wallambai. Awesome riding and I think it's definitely worthwhile to share it on here because it's so easy to get to from Sydney. You can either drive up and it took like an hour from my place or you get on a train, definitely worthwhile. So let's go through some of the footage and from now on, I'll probably just do a, a voiceover from home. We left Morissette station about 7.30 in the morning. The weather was perfect but the forecast was for hot temperatures and the chance of an evening thunderstorm. Leaving town, there was a few kilometres of road. That wouldn't last long, and before we knew it, we were in our first bit of single trail. Yeah. It makes a difference, especially up the hill climbs, like just to keep your mind off the hill climb. Quite nice along the river here. The plan for the day is to get over to the trading post at Laguna for lunch, maybe have a couple of beers, and then after that, it's a pretty cruisy ride into camp. Yeah. That's a cool bridge, that one. That's like the, if they put Morissette on a postcard, that's what they put it on. Is it? I'm gonna take a photo. It's cool. I like it. Feel a little bit exposed here. Oh crap. <laughs> this route has a lot of variety. From the roads and the single trail to purpose-built bike paths. It's got it all. And the best part, if you stick around long enough, you'll get to see a heap of premium gravel. The country roads genuinely are the highlight of this route. <laughs> yeah. Mine's I've folded it up <laughs> pretty much inside one of my bags. Now, I love mountain bikes and I also love single trail. So, to ride some trails like this so early in the trip, I was frothing. Yeah, but like as a After cruising along mostly flat terrain for a bit over 10 kilometres, we stopped and had a regroup. The next nine kilometres was all uphill as we climbed up into the Wadigans. It's a sweet hill climb. Well, I don't know, but um, I think the bottom... There they are over there. Do you need to go toilet or? Yeah. Oh, coffee time. How much you put in there? You put it all in. Actually, too much air because last time took forever. Once we had made it up to the Wadigan HQ, we stopped there for a while. Some of the guys are pretty fit and they were ahead of everyone and there was some guys on this ride that hadn't ridden bikes for years. 
and Benny was calling it the beginner's bike packing ride. How was that? Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was fun. And I'm broke. Now he's not ready to go. Have a drink. Let's do it. Let's go. Stop and and have a drink. Once we all joined up together again, we set off on the descent down into the valleys which were heading towards Laguna. It's almost like it's been regraded. Descending, eh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> We had made it down into the farmlands and this is where the gravel just kept getting better and better. It is a super hot day on some beautiful gravel.
The Trading Post. A cool little cafe in Laguna that sells food and beer and it's a really nice place to stop for lunch. It also has water on tap, so great place to fill up your water bottles. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's not many sort of free campgrounds to stay at around Wollombi. Well, not for a group of 15 anyway. So we booked a site on Hip Camp at a place called the Muller Villa Farm, and we stayed at the Creek Camping. It was quite a nice little spot, but there was no water in the creek at all. It was pretty dry, and there was some pretty annoying barking dogs across the road, which I'm a heavy sleeper, didn't faze me too much, but they were just going all night. Great camping site. Here we go. Put them in series, you reckon? I really didn't mind this campground. We didn't need water, and having somewhere we're allowed to be, knowing no one was going to turn up, it was a great little spot for a good night's sleep. Hey Josh, can I offer you a beer? Yes sir, nice and fucking warm. <laughs> After spending some time cooling down, we got back on the bikes and rode into the Wollombi Tavern for some afternoon beers and a feed. Just a warning though, it's a very nice spot down there and after riding in the heat all day, the beers were very tasty. Yes, we rode home in the dark. <laughs> on the Sunday morning, we just got up, packed up and we headed back to Laguna where we had breakfast. Now, we rode exactly the same way back home as we did on the Saturday. But after posting this on Strava, I had a guy, can't remember his name. Anyway, he told me that there's another road called Yango Creek Road, which goes from Wollombi to Laguna. So I've had a look on Google Street View and it's actually on there. And it, yeah, it looks like beautiful gravel road. So if you are gonna do this ride, I'd probably suggest like incorporating that somehow. You could also do a different sort of loop and head down to like St. Albans or something like that. I think that'd be really cool. Omifert's website, they've got a few routes around Sydney on there and I'm pretty sure I've seen something like this. I haven't actually got on how to look, but that might be worthwhile checking out as well. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the link to the Ride With GPS file that we did uh, in the comments. So if you wanna check it out, it's all yours. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to get out again, getting out again. Those planes above me are putting me off, trying to rush. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you later.